Hi, Chris and Matt from Driftwood Guitars here, and we're taking over Stumac's YouTube channel for the day. To be clear, we were asked to take over. We're, uh, our hacking skills aren't that good yet. We're collaborating with Stumac to do something super cool that Matt and I have been wanting to do for a super long time, and that's to go to the 2024 NAM convention. That's the National Association of Musical Merchants. In Anaheim, California. And as guitar builders, we're so excited to be amongst our people. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see people in the industry and folks that have chatted with us over YouTube all of these years and we're taking you guys with us. Well, we're taking our cameras with us, but you, you'll be along with us after the edits are all finished. You mean they're not just gonna get all into our suitcases? <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to check that bag. Exactly. Anyways, do you wanna tell them about our mission? Every year at NAMM, there's so many cool and new products that are revealed, and these companies have been working over the course of the last year to do R&D and to finally reveal these products. And Matt and I are gonna make it our mission to walk the entire convention floor over the course of several days. And then we're gonna see what product we think is our favorite one and then present it to you guys. That's that's right, we're gonna try and find the coolest thing at NAMM. And we leave in an hour and we're not even packed up yet, <laughs> so we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Okay, we finally made it, and now all we gotta do is walk around the whole floor and find the coolest thing that we can find. So let's get after it. Andy, Chris, what's your favorite thing you've seen at NAMM so far? Apart from you, second time I've used that joke, uh, it would be the G50, which is at the Rev booth. The okay, makers. awesome. And what is the G50? The G50 is a three-channel amp, 50-watt version of their, uh, their 100 watt. so it's a more usable amp. And the reason I enjoyed it is because the guy that demoed it, Sam, was phenomenal at his job. It really showed me what a difference the people make oh. when it comes to gear. The amp was great. But put but it in it my hands, person. it wasn't that good. But this guy, he wasn't just an amazing player. He knew his stuff and he was a really nice guy and he made me feel really welcome. I love to hear. We'll have to go check that out. Aaron, what's the favorite thing you've seen so far at NAMM? Well, I'm a big fan of stories and history and, you know, the um, Joy Guitars, if six was nine, ah. is awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh, just yeah. with everything with Jimmy and you know, so I think that that probably takes the cake. For yeah, me. that's a super cool guitar. Cool man, thanks. Yeah, man. <laughs> Everything you've seen in NAMM so far? Uh, I've seen many beautiful things, but I think the one that stood out was the Hollings 470 JL Julian Lodge model. Oh, that's such a sweet guitar. Uh, and I picked it up. It didn't sound like Julian, but if I get a little bit closer <laughs> to him, I'll take it. That's <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks. Right, Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Right, what's your favorite thing you've seen at NAMM so far? Uh, two rock and divided by 13 coming together. Nice. I think it's great. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So these are super cool guitars called Madsons. I think they might be out. I know they're out of North America, um, but it's kind of where my Da Vinci model guitar design got its inspiration from when I was first making them. Super cool. My first time actually getting to put hands on one, and it sounds super cool. Uh, it sounds like it's got a lot of bottom end on it, which I love. So it's really cool to hold one in my hand. All right, it's Sunday, and that means Matt and I have been walking the floor for four whole days. We've met so many people. We've seen hundreds and hundreds of different manufacturers. Uh, we saw so many really cool things. And honestly, at this exact point, I don't know that I can answer the question of what was my favorite thing I saw at NAMM. So I think it's gonna take a couple more days of processing all the things that happened here before I can answer that question. When Stumac challenged us to this task, we maybe foolishly thought that it would be easy but we really truly had no idea how incredible NAMM would be. 
But in the middle of our incredibly scientific and precise decision-making process, we started to realize something. The most incredible thing that we found at NAMM wasn't any one product, it was the people. Yeah, it was really the people that stood out as our favorite thing. People like us, who love music, who love making things that make music better. It was incredibly inspiring to be at a place with so many like-minded artists, innovators, people tirelessly pursuing their passion to make the musical world a better place. Agreed, that was hands down my favorite thing, just meeting everyone and feeling inspired to continue down my path of building guitars, making music, and making videos. So that's it, the people win. So we just want to thank Stu Mac for sending us out to Anaheim to hang out with everybody. And our biggest thanks goes out to everybody in the field, those that are out there helping to make this industry thrive and grow, and we're all better off for it.